Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. So today we're doing a fan service. As you can see, we're doing GTA 5. So I've got a viewer requesting for a trainer for GTA 5 on the Steam Deck. He said that um, it's very easy to install on the PC, but um, there's not many tutorials on how to do it on the Steam Deck. So yeah, here I am. So I've already done it. Uh, you can see, let me see what I can do with a player appearance. So you can see here, I can just like wanted level. And then, uh, yeah, I can t turn it off. And then um, what else can I do? See, I've got, uh, how much money have I got? I've got $21,000. So I think I can get money. Um, player, add cash, add 100 grand. Yeah, see? Yeah, and just add money. Fireproof and all that. Player appearance is what I'm kind of randomized appearance. Oh, yeah. <laughs> See this? Yeah, it's pretty cool. This is pretty cool. This is pretty cool. And then um, I can also get um, vehicles and weapons. So, vehicle, let's go get, let's spawn, let's spawn a supercar. Yeah, let's get, yeah, let's get this one. All right, so I spawned it. Oh, here it is. See that? See that? And then I can change its color, I think. Um, never gets dirty paint. All right. So chrome. Oh, this is chrome. Let me see. I think I need to go into the light. Uh, yeah, not, not, not so good. Um, metallic. What's this? Uh, I don't know. Paint. Can I get paint? Silver? Oh, is it because I already changed it to chrome? Chrome. Uh, paint made dash interior primary. Classic. All right. Oh, here, here it is. Silver. Yeah, silver is pretty cool. Okay. Let's try. Oh my god. I think I pressed the wrong button. I haven't played this in a while. I had this on the PS3 and I bought it again on the PS4. And the PC version, I think I got it for free. I think it's. um. Oh my god, this is crazy. Yeah, I think I got it from um, Epic. All right, so yeah, enough of that. Uh, yeah, I think you want to know how to install it. So let's get started. So if you like this kind of stuff, um, gaming handhelds, Steam Deck, uh, mods, stuff like that, emulation, uh, please consider subscribing. And yeah, let's get started. All right, so we're on our desktop mode on Steam Deck. So this is my uh, YouTube studio. Uh, yeah, so let's shout out to to the person that made this video possible. GTA, yeah, this guy, uh, Dark Mode. Shout out to you. He said, like, can you make a video on cheats and trainers for Steam OS? Uh, enhanced native trainer on GTA Five. So he commented on my Wii Mod video. So I was uh, telling people how to install Wii Mod on the Steam Deck, and I'm like, I already have videos for Red Dead Redemption Two and GTA Four. So I don't, I'm not sure if I really need to make one for GTA 5. And he's like, yeah. And then I made him work for it. I'm like, can you tell me like, uh, what's so good about it? Because I did search a bit online. I went to, um, Nexus, Nexus mods. And I did look it up and I don't think that's very popular. Well, it's not even there. Uh, do I have it? Yeah. Grand Theft Auto 5 here. And then you search for trainer. I think there's only, yeah, menu. This one is, I think this one's the more popular one. So I'm not sure why he, so that's why I asked him, like, what's so special about it? What's so good about Enhanced Native Trainer? There's other trainers and he's, and he gave me an essay. So, all right. So he sold me to do this. He's like, you know, you can customize your vehicles and all this. Uh, yeah. So he, he wrote me an essay. I guess I'd have to help him out. So shout out to you, um, dark mode. All right. I like using dark mode. You see, my 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 uh, browsers are all dark mode. So yeah, all right. Let's let's see what we're getting into. All right. So enhanced 
native trainer. All right. Okay. It's first one. First one, GTA 5 mods. I think this is the one. Okay. So, yeah, I think he copied it here. So I guess the essay was not an essay after all. He just copied and pasted. It. Yeah, like when I hand in my homework, that's what I do. All right. So let's just download it. Download, download. Okay, done. Done. Does it have any instructions how to install? Um, do, 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 do. Let's read. Let's read. Uh, how do you install it? When loading ENT, uh, build, description. What the hell? So it doesn't have an install. Oh, for install. Oh, sorry about that. For installation details, please read the documents in the zip. Okay, that's what we do. Okay, so it's here. Double click it. All right. It's a lot of. Okay, so we're going to unzip. Auto detect folder. So here. Okay. Read me. RTF. Oh my god, it's an RTF. And Steam Deck doesn't have an RTF reader built in. All right. Do you have an RTF reader online? Oh, online. Yeah, online. All right. View RTF online. Yeah. I mean, that's what we need to do. Okay. Let's read it. Okay. Okay. Got it. That's it. One page. Pretty easy. So what, what's the fuss about? Make sure your copy of GTA is fully up to date. Download the script hook. Open the zip. Move the DLL files. Also, oh, it's using script hook. So I think it's pretty same as like GTA 4 and and Red Dead Redemption 2. I think it's pretty much the same. Okay, so let's find my game first. So I've got my uh, game in Heroic Launcher because I got it for free from Epic. So here's my game. So where is it installed? Let me see. Change install path. Is that what I need to do? No, I don't think so. Uh, okay, I think I know where it is. It's in my home games. Home games, heroic. Yeah, here it is. So here's my game. Okay, here's my game where the EXE is. So this is my game folder. It's in heroic. So I installed it through heroic because I got the game free from Epic Games. So if you don't know what that means, it's you get an Epic account and Epic gives you free games every two weeks. Yeah, and I've, I've collected so many games over the years. Look, look at my library, Epic. I haven't bought, a, I think I bought one game from there. I bought uh, Jedi Fallen Order and I regret that. But yeah, look at all my games. It's all free. I, I just collect them every two weeks. Look, you got Fallout. You got, you got, you got uh, Tomb Raider. I've got, I've got a lot of good stuff here. Batman Arkham series. It's coming out on the Switch, but I've got the whole series and I can play that on the Steam Deck. Bioshock. These are free games. They give good games sometimes. Not all the time, sometimes. All right, so enough blabbing. So let's read it again. <laughs> what do we need to do? We need to go to script hook. Okay, we need to download this. Let's get this. Script hook. Script hook five. Um, where is it from? Where is it from? Devc.com. Devc. Devc. All right, this one. Yeah. Okay, Dev C GTA script of five. Yep. All right. All right. All right. Download. Download. Okay. So we need to get the bin folder. Okay, and copy the two DOL files, script V and D input eight to the root. Yeah, it's pretty much the same. Like if that. Uh, what dark mode? If that guy dark mode, if he read like if he didn't copy like the benefits of this trainer and just watched my videos on those i think he could have done it okay so script hook is here i think it's pretty easy okay bin okay so there's two okay these are the two where do i need to put it 
I think I put it in the game directory, right? I pressed the wrong button. I opened my Chrome browser. Okay. Um, the, 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 put in the root of the game folder with the, with the exe. Yeah, so pretty simple. This is my game folder with the exe. Okay. Open that first. Drag these two files here. Okay, done. Is it done? Yep, done. And then, and then copy both the enhanced native trainer folder and enhanced native trainer.asi to the same folder as the script top and launch. That's it. Okay, downloads and, and okay. Oh, so I just copied this. So I just move it here. I can move here. Yeah, that's okay. I should have copied there, but yes, it's okay. All right. So with my experience, I know that this doesn't work. This works on PC. If you're on the Steam Deck, you need to, because it can't read these DLLs by default. So what we need to do, okay, since I've got product open, this is good. This is what we need to do. We need to go into, so I installed it here, right? And then I go into settings. And then we go into wine config. Okay, so if you if you don't if you didn't install it through um Heroic, you can use Proton Tricks to do the same thing. Run Proton Tricks, find your game where it's located, and then uh, run wine config. All right, it's the same thing. So in the libraries, we need to add, we need to add that DLL uh, D input, that D input into the libraries. So so it runs the DLL. Okay, so here in the in when you open it, you you start off in this tab applications, go to libraries, and then here new override, pull down, and you can actually type it. Uh, the input, I think it's here. It's here somewhere. Okay, so the input eight, yeah, and then just add it. So it adds the input eight, and then I think they don't have script hook, so I think we just write it script hook v. Yeah, that that's that's like oh actually it does have it here. Oh we already have it. Uh, all right. Yeah, if you don't have it, just add it. Apply, okay. All right, let's run the game. Let's run the game. Uh, how do we open that? Sorry. Okay, so if you're on keyboard press F4, if you're on controller, R B plus Y. Okay. So let's run the game first and see if it works. Yeah, I think we can close these. So I'm running on desktop mode. So I guess I'm going to use keyboard. So I'm going to press F4. If you run it on um, game mode, you're on controller, obviously. Press R, B, and Y. All right. It's going to take some time to load because it goes through the, the Rock, Rockstar launcher. You have to log in and all that. I don't know why they, uh, yeah, I guess they have the Rockstar Online. You have to play, if you want to play GTA Online. All right. All right, loading. Does it work here now? Okay, I'm pressing F4, nothing happens. I think you need to go in game, I guess. Hopefully, I don't want to do this again. But it doesn't seem too complicated. Like, it's basically the same. I think they're using the same engine. So, yeah, it's the same thing as Red Dead Redemption 2. Okay, so. Wait, wait, okay. Story mode. F4. Nope, still nothing. Still nothing. So let's just load into it and see if it works. So yeah, uh, don't be shy. If you have any requests, please let me know in the... Oh yeah, here it is. See it? I press F4 and then the enhanced native trainer comes up. Um, yeah, it's pretty much the same as Red Dead. Yeah, you can do all this stuff, I think. I I don't know what they do, but yeah. Reset all settings. No. What? What? Yeah. Um, yeah. 
the maybe if I oh yeah yeah I think I use controller is better. Um oh what? Oh I think I pressed the wrong button. Okay. No. Okay. So player, yeah, I think you can do a lot of stuff. Add cash, yeah, that's what we normally do. Yeah, all right. So yeah, as I was saying, uh don't be shy. If you have any requests, uh please let me know. I'll try my best to fulfill. But I can't do all requests. I think you understand that. So I hope this video helped you out. If it did, please leave a like and subscribe. And see you guys in the next one. Later.